If you're using a Raspberry Pi computer for your weekend project, perhaps a media center or a home server, then there's a good chance these useful command line instructions will save you some time. To begin harnessing this power, launch LX Terminal on the desktop menu bar. Enter PWD, short for Print Working Directory, to check which directory you are currently in. And LS to list the contents. You can change the directory with CD, while CD dot dot will return to focus to the parent directory. Use the mkdir command to create a new directory. It's time to move on to more useful commands. Rather than go searching for a hardware information screen, enter cat slash proc slash cpu info to display information about the Raspberry Pi's CPU. Various other hardware information can be found by running commands under the proc directory. For instance, cat slash proc slash mem info displays details about the Raspberry Pi's memory while cat slash proc slash partitions reveals the size and number of partitions on your SD card or HDD. Finally, cat slash proc slash version shows you which version of the Pi you are using. Further information about your Raspberry Pi can be discovered using vcgencmd commands. Interested in CPU temperature? Try vcgencmd measure underscore temp. And you can find what the current CPU and GPU memory split is with this vcgencmd command. vcgencmd get underscore mem arm and vcgencmd get underscore mem gpu. What hardware do you have connected to your Raspberry Pi? Try ls usb which lists the connected USB devices. This is crucial for setting up a wireless network, mounting a hard disk drive, or attaching any other USB hardware that requires configuration. When you are installing software, shutting down, or planning to reconfigure your Raspberry Pi, you'll need to use what is perhaps the most important command line instruction, sudo. This single instruction tells the Linux-based systems that the following command should be carried out with enhanced privileges. For example, you might plan to install the Synaptic Package Manager. Use sudo apt get install synaptic to do this. Perhaps the most commonly used command when setting up your Pi is sudo raspy-config. This opens the configuration screen for the operating system, where you can activate your Raspberry Pi camera, expand the file systems, and more. Time to power down your Pi. Use sudo shutdown-h now to immediately begin the system halt and shutdown process. Restarting your Pi is just as easy. Replace dash H with dash R, and for a timed shutdown, enter a value to count down, or a specific time, such as sudo shutdown dash H2155. After all that, you might be sick of the command line. Don't worry, you can boot into the GUI with Stardex. For many people, command line access on any platform is intimidating. The command shared here will give any Raspberry Pi newcomer what they need to get started. Subscribe to this channel and tell us your favorite and most used Linux commands for the Raspberry Pi in the comments.